Hello and welcome to part 2 of our tutorial series making a Python 2D game using Pygame here on Freshly Picked. Alright, on our first tutorial, we open a Pygame window which closes itself immediately after 4 seconds. Today, we're going to draw our player and our enemy on our game window as shown on the video screen. And we're going to make our game window persist until the user clicks on the close button like so. In video games, the pictures and images that is shown on our screen are called sprites, such as the following examples I'm showing to you right now. Pygame provides a function that loads these images in our game program. However, we're going to create our sprites programmatically using geometric functions provided by Pygame. Okay, so uh, let's get started by making a copy of the file we've created last tutorial. Go inside the Blasteroids directory on our desktop and open the Blasteroids underscore zero one dot py file with your text editor. To make a copy, click on the file menu, then select save as then type blasteroids underscore zero two dot py okay now before we type in our code let's just have a look at how our player looks like up close on empty paint you don't have to install it though, I'm just using it to show you. So I'm going to create a new image with a dimension of 17 by 21 pixels. And I'm going to zoom in. I would like you to pay attention I would like you to pay special attention on the status bar right here. The pair of numbers you see here you see here is the current x and y coordinate based on the Cartesian plane coordinate system. However, there is an important difference in Pygame that we have to take note of. In Pygame, the point of origin or point zero zero is the top left corner of a window. So if I move my mouse over here, we can see that the status bar tells us that we are pointing at the 0, 0 coordinate. And if I move one pixel to the right, the x coordinate increments by 1. And again, if I move one pixel to the right, it increments again by 1, and so on and so forth. Our y coordinate, however, increments downwards. This is the important difference we have to take note of because if you have taken geometry classes, then you know that the y coordinate decrements going a downward direction and has a negative value because its point of origin is at the center. I already mentioned to you that I'm basing the concepts of this game from a book, and in the book, the points to plot our player were given, but it uses the center as its point of origin. So I recalculated it and based it on Pygame. Our player is just a composition of four lines and basing on the given points, we need to plot our first line from point zero twenty to eight zero. Okay, just hold on. I'll change the color to green and 
select the straight line tool okay so basing on the points given we need to plot our first line from point zero twenty to point eight zero the second line from point eight zero to point sixteen twenty okay the third line from point two fifteen to point seven fifteen and the last line from point fourteen fifteen to point nine fifteen and there we are now that we have our blueprint we're now ready to code it so let's go back to our text editor and type in the following codes Now save it when you're done. Okay, so before we run our code, let's go over the lines that we added. Line 2 imports the sys module so that we can use the exit function when we leave our script, as we can see right here. The asterisk in line 3 imports everything from pygame.locals which contains nothing more but pygame constants in this tutorial we only used one the quit constant this is very handy because we can just use the constant quit which uh, makes more sense than memorizing and using its integer value of 12 uh, line 8 we added another color value of green for our player. Line 13, um, we change our window title to My Awesome Game. Okay, and then we deleted the line screen that fill white. And the method um, pygame.surface in line 15 returns a surface object to which we can draw our player into it takes the dimension as its first parameter and we gave it the size of our player in pixels and then we assign it to a variable named ship underscore surf on line 16 we create a value variable for where we want to position our sprite on our Pygame window. Lines 18 to 21 draws the four lines that makes our player. It takes a surface object for its first parameter. For its second parameter, it takes the color and the starting and end positions for the third and fourth parameters so the numbers that you are seeing right now are the points we that we plotted earlier on line 23 
we draw our ship surf object which now contains the drawing of our player to the position uh, given to our pie game window using the blit method from our screen object line 26 creates an infinite loop um, because the condition will always be true unless one of the lines of code below it changes it lines 27 and 28 traverses through Pygame events and checks if the user has clicked the close button if the user has indeed clicked the close button then line 29 is executed and our program exits if you now run the code you can now see our spaceship drawn on the window Ta-da! You can go ahead and experiment on changing the values of the variables and see what happens. You can always check your work by looking at the source code available on the description below. For the last part of today's tutorial, we're also going to draw our enemy sprite on our game. Let's begin by making a copy of the most recent file uh, we've been working on. To do that, open blasteroids underscore zero two dot py with your text editor and then click on the file menu and select save as. Then type blasteroids underscore zero two 03.py As you may already have noticed, our enemy sprite is a polygon. Now we can use the pygame.draw.line function we used on our spaceship to draw our polygon but there's already a function provided by pygame for doing just that the pygame.draw.polygon same as pygame.draw.line pygame.draw.polygon takes a surface object and the color va value for its first and second parameters respectively the third parameter are the points of our polygon now type the following codes First, we created the list of the points of our polygon and the rest of the code is pretty much self-explanatory. The process is still the same. We create a surface object for our enemy sprite and a variable where we want to position our enemy sprite. The only difference is that we use the pygame.draw.polygon to draw our asteroid. The last argument that we pass to pygame.draw.polygon gives our polygon lines a width of 1 which is 0 by default. Again, save your work when you're done. Now run the code and you'll see our asteroid displayed on our screen.
On our next tutorial, we'll be taking inputs from the user and make our spaceship move. Okay, so that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching.